Okay, well, it was a uh, very good victory for our football team. I thought we came ready to play. We we understood there was a lot riding on that uh, football uh, game, and uh, a lot of upsets were going on throughout the week, and we had to win to advance, and our guys understood that. We, we wanted the pressure on us. We try to invite that every week. We try to put it on ourselves every time we, we step on the field. But our guys came ready to play. They produced. They played at a high level. It was great to see, and now we got a chance to advance to the championship. I hadn't had a chance to ask you about the carries. Well, Nakaris uh, is an outstanding player. He's worked extremely hard. He did a very good job for us on offense. He was outstanding on special teams. He gives you a weapon at all times with trick plays because he's so athletic. He can throw the ball. He can do a lot of things with it. He's smart. Uh, so to lose him, uh, it hurt us. And um, I know he was disappointed and it's going to knock him out for a while. Uh, the good part about it is he'll, he'll be back for next year. It's just going to take a while to recover and heal and do the rehab, but I think he understands that and um, you know, he'll be back and uh, you know, we're looking forward to having him back. Uh, he'll be a big time player for us next year. I think he'll come back stronger, even more prepared and we're looking forward uh, to when he when he gets back, putting him on the field and utilizing all the talents he has. What do you do differently well, we've worked extremely hard to get better uh, on a lot of things they defeated us on. And uh, they've got great speed. Uh, last game, they threw it over our head. We gave up too many big plays. And they threw it on the perimeter too much. And uh, we've worked hard to try to take away those two things over the course of the next five or six weeks. Uh, we have gotten better. But we haven't faced a team like La Tech since. So to be able to, to go back and face a team with this type of speed, a good quarterback, uh, uh, it's going to be a challenge. So we'll see how far we've come. Uh, I know our guys are looking forward to it. Uh, you know, they're a very talented team, and it'll be a great matchup. What makes those two receivers so good? <laughs> well, one of them is extremely fast and can run and get open downfield and uh, is, is about as versatile as they come. And, and Henderson, he's, he's, he's tough. And... Uh, you know, he's a, he's a great threat. He can catch the ball, but he can stretch the field. And then uh, their slot receiver is produced every year. He's tough. He's physical. He makes all the good catches. He can get open. Uh, you know, those are two great weapons to have. You know, very similar to our guys on our team. And uh, they have a quarterback that can throw it to them. And uh, they definitely uh, get it on the perimeter as much as they can and give them a chance. So, you know, we've got to know where both of those guys are. We've got to make sure we have a guy in front of them. And then we've just got to win some one-on-one -on -one matchups at times. you got a pretty good running game. Well, they've always done a good job of running the ball in, in their spread sets. And, uh, you know, this year we've been very good against the run. We've got to make sure we mix some things up and we don't get too laxed on that and uh, concentrate too much on the passing game. But, uh, you know, they, they're very balanced. They're like us. They can run the ball if they need to. They can throw if they need to. Uh, so it'll, it'll be a great contest and, uh, you know, a lot of back and forth. Uh, it'll probably go down to the wire, which is what you want to see in a championship game. But uh, I think it's going to be a great venue. We're lucky to have them at home, and it, it means a lot to, to get them back in front of our home crowd. So you talked earlier in the season about emphasizing the importance of playing a full, complete game with all three units. How satisfying is it to see you know, close out the regular season with every unit kind of firing on all cylinders coming from where you started? Well, it was a good ending to the regular season. I think that uh, – you know, you got to make sure you motivate your guys and keep them into it at all times. And as we saw this past weekend, a lot of teams didn't finish. So it was up to us to, to finish the regular season the way it, it should be. And our guys bought into that. You know, they enjoy competing. They enjoy practicing. They enjoy trying to test themselves each and every time they step on the field, practice and game day. Uh, they're fun to work with. Uh, so I think we got a great group. And uh, their character and work, work ethic are the best things about them. And I think because of that, they'll, they'll work extremely hard to get prepared this week, uh, go out there, have some fun, and let's see if we can win another one. Your secondary, losing Marcus, Coach Cassidy coming in now, how much of that kind of slow their maturation? Well, we did, We needed to improve a lot. You know, our pass coverage was not good early in the season in a lot of games. And uh, even in some, you know, that we didn't get beat on, there were people open that shouldn't be open. So, you know, it's been a uh, daily process, but uh, that's part of it. You know, you're always going to have new guys come in there, and sometimes they may not have a whole lot of game experience, and you got to throw them in the fire. And uh, the great thing that we try to do here is we try to schedule as well as we can in the non-conference or in the season to make sure we're playing tough teams. And... Win or lose in those games, you learn a lot, and you learn uh, how far you have to come and what you need to improve upon. So we try to use that as a huge learning advantage, and I think we've adjusted things in practice. We do things that uh, 
fit our team, not just things that we've done in the past uh, to help us get better, and because of that we have. But uh, this will be the uh, final exam uh, against a, a very good football team that uh, you know put a lot of points on us the last time we played, and, and we're looking forward to this challenge. Yeah, so about, about the Corey Gardner in the spring and the way he was playing the last two games, coming in and making plays when, when he got his chances. How proud are you of the way he's been able to come in? Well, you know what? Uh, he's got a great work ethic. He, you know, he had a – a fairly severe groin injury early in the year that he had to have surgery on, had to fly to Philadelphia. Uh, and he came back fast. And he's a guy that has a good knack for the ball. He really loves the game of football. He does a great job for us in practice, whether he's going against our ones or against the twos. He gives you a great look. Uh, so when he's in there, he's prepared. And, uh, you know, he's produced for us. And uh, we feel good about putting him in there. And, and I'm very happy to see him do that well. So that, that type of year. Well, those things are always going to happen, and at this time of the year, there are always there are things out there. But I think that, you know, any time those things come up, it's a credit to your team, your players, your coaching staff, uh, the entire administration, the entire town. I mean, you know, we're trying to make a great product here. I think uh, we want to win and do well. Uh, we're fired up to play in the championship game. Uh, so I think that that's just a credit to the season that we've had to this point. Jeff, you been very complimentary of, of your players and just how they approach things. You've been through this. There are some teams, and no matter what sport, at the end of the season, both sides are kind of tired of each other. And I can tell they enjoy being around you and your staff. You feel the same way. That's special. What makes this group special? Then? Well, that's always a challenge. And you want your guys to uh, like each other. You want them to like the coaching. Uh, you want them to play for each other. And, and those things uh, can be a challenge, like you said, uh, uh, throughout the course of the season. So I think you try to create an environment where they all like coming to work. They like being around each other. Every, not everyone's going to get along perfectly, but as long as you treat people with respect and you know that you're there for them to help them to improve, uh, that uh, you know when it's time to play and when it's time to get on the field, you've got each other back, then, then normally good things are going to happen. But I like the crew we have. I like the, the character of the guys on our football team. I think that uh, things matter to them. They enjoy working hard. They enjoy working together for a common goal. And if you can get guys that just stay together and work hard, normally the sky's the limit. Jeff, is it an advantage or, or just a non-factor that so many players on, on your team went through the Conference USA Championship preparation and atmosphere last year? Uh, going into this game. Well, I think all those things are always an advantage. You know, this is a big game. Uh, we enjoy playing in them. Uh, it's against a very good football team. The, the, the great part for us is we got them at home against uh, or with our crowd uh, behind us, so that's going to make it a lot more fun. But um, you know, these games are fun to play in, and it should be a reward for the season that you had. So I think our guys need to play loose. It needs to be a fun week where you're out there working hard, you're trying to improve and get better. But come game day, you need to just cut it loose, uh, not doubt yourself, play with confidence. Have fun and hopefully uh, good things happen. You care the whole game you plan? No, you know we always uh, love going south if we can, but uh, no, there's a lot of good destinations for this conference, uh, so we're happy to go wherever we need to go. But uh, south and warm is always good. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you.